Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video. Today we're ha we have here a Lenovo Chromebook we're working on. I'm going to show you some solutions for if your Lenovo Chromebook is not turning on at all. Uh, we have some more extensive repairs down bottom that could help out with this situation. Uh, we'll have the link in the description. However, these are a couple of easy steps that you should probably try first before moving on to the more uh, intrusive repairs. The first solution we're going to show you is a software fix. The next is a hardware fix. So to start with, if your Lenovo is not turning on at all, we're going to hit a certain key combination to try to force it into developer mode, which sometimes jars it back to life. That key combination is your escape key, your refresh key, which is this uh, circular arrow icon, and then your power key. So we're going to hold down escape, refresh, power. Let's see if that helps. So now you're in developer mode. Now sometimes you've just jarred your computer back to life. You can uh, restart it from here and it could work sometimes now that it's been shaken back to life. Other times it won't, which means your operating system is probably corrupted. In that case, you're going to need to install a new one. You're going to want to first go to this URL here on an, uh, another computer that, that works obviously. You're going to want to go to this URL, Google Chrome OS Recovery. And there you're going to select the option for install operating system. And then you're going to follow the options for recovery app. You'll need the model number it'll ask you for. That's found here under the URL. And then once you get that on your flash drive or USB, you'll bring it over here to your Lenovo Chromebook. And it will auto run once you plug it in. And that should solve that problem. However, if this is not working for you, then it may be a hardware issue. We'll, solve you, uh, we'll show you how to solve that now. With a static release, uh, unplug your power cord. We're going to want to gain access to the computer because we have to uh, unplug or remove the battery. So let's unscrew all the screws in your bottom case. Uh, be careful sometimes of your rubber feet. There could be screws under there. I use a little flathead screwdriver. Get under your feet. Oof, never mind. I'm going to do that. So I've taken all of my screws out. Uh, be careful sometimes under your rubber feet. There may be screws under there. Uh, what I use is use a, a small pry tool or a small flathead. Pry those up um, and see if there are screws under there. But I, I, I know in this model there are none, so I'm, I'm not going to do that on the, on the video. So now that we have that up, we're going to take our pry tool. We're going to go along the seam of the bottom case and palm rest and pry the, the, them apart so we can get into the computer. Oop, turned on. If you have an external battery that you can just take off, it's a lot easier th than this. But unfortunately, a lot of Chromebooks have internal batteries which is why we're going to show you this. So the palm rest is now loose, but I can't just tear it off. As you can see underneath, there are ribbon cables that are holding it to the motherboard. So I'm going to take my plastic pry tool, not a metal one, because the motherboard still is live right now. It's got power running through it from the battery. I don't want to poke around there and damage things. There, a plastic pry tool, and I'm going to pop up these clips. I'll show you once we get in how those work. Okay, so we'll move that to the side. These are the clips that I just took off. This one here, the small one, 
and this long one. The way these work, so these are plastic clips and they fold down to secure the ribbon and pop up to release. So what I did is I took my pry tool, I slid it under them, popped it up, popped it up, pulled the ribbon cables out. And then I put them back down so I don't damage them. But here is your battery. Here's where it plugs into your motherboard. So I'm going to un unplug that. So now that's unplugged from your motherboard. Now I'm going to replace the palm rest back onto the motherboard, which can be a little a difficult. Just go slow and take your time. I'm going to do this large one first. Pop the ribbon clip down. So we're going to put your large one inside because that's your keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, press your power button down for a minute. After a minute, release the power button. We're going to plug the battery back in now after we release the static. So again, we're going to unplug the ribbon cable for our keyboard. Gonna plug the battery back into the motherboard. Okay. Then replace our keyboard again. You'll get really good at this. Oh, computer came on. and we'll see if that static release fixed your computer. Then you take your charger and you plug that back in and uh, we'll see if this fixed your computer. So turn your computer on. Uh, if your computer comes on then you fix the problem and the static release helped. If it doesn't come on we're going to try to see if it's a problem with your charger or your battery. So we're going to unplug your charger again. We're going to get your battery in again. So unplug the ribbon cable and unplug the battery. Now with the battery unplugged, put back in your, your keyboard ribbon. So now you're going to hold on the power button again for a minute, drain the static again. After a minute you're going to release it and now we're only going to plug in our charger, we're not going to plug in the battery. And You're going to try to turn your computer on. If your computer comes on, what that means is that the charger is good and most likely your battery is bad, in which case we, we replace it. If your computer does not come on with the charger in and the battery unplugged, we're going to unplug the charger Drain the static again for a minute, just like we did before. at the end of a minute, you're going to release the power button. And now we're going to reattach our battery. After the battery is reattached, you'll press your power button and you'll try to get your computer on without the charger. If it turns on, then your battery is okay and we know that the charger is probably bad. If this is helpful, please like and share. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself laptop repair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.